Hello and welcome to another Dollar Tree movie haul video. Been a little while since I've done one of these, and this isn't the biggest haul, only three titles. But I figured I'd go ahead and do another video. Uh, right here to start out with, we have Spree, starring Joe Keery. Uh, the premise sounds somewhat decent. A guy works for a rideshare company, and he's uh, kind of kind of a bit not stable, and some stuff happens, and all. Dewey himself, former world heavyweight champion, uh, David Arquette, is in the film. So, uh, to be honest, the concept sounded pretty solid. I looked it up on IMDb, though. Kind of lowered my expectations a bit. It looks almost like a found footage movie, like the guy's filming himself in selfie mode most of the film. From what I saw, it might not be the entire thing. Maybe it will uh, branch out and be a proper film, but... I'll try to actually pop this thing open. I don't think there's going to be anything in it. But, as there's only three titles, might as well go ahead and bring you guys as much content as possible. Carefully discard that slip cover up there. When I saw that it compared the film to American Psycho, I have to admit that did pique my interest, because while I initially was not a fan of American Psycho, uh, it did grow on me over the years. Good, good movie. I would give it uh, seven and a half to eight out of ten. Spoil on the next ones. Oh, there. Inside of Spree, there's absolutely nothing, but you do get a nice solid case and a very generic disc image featured uh, everywhere else on the packaging. But uh, there we have it. Who directed this thing? Eugene. I am not going to attempt that last name. But uh, yeah, never really heard of anyone involved on the film outside of old David Arquette there. I've heard of that Misha Barton girl. So two people I have heard of in the film. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a gem, but probably not. Spree. Moving on, we have Radio Flash, a movie that probably is a bit more poignant today. Uh, a nuclear something, a uh, nuclear strike causes an electromagnetic pulse that cuts off all power, water, and communication to the entire western United States, and then some teenage girl has to travel with her family to save the day. Uh, let's see, who is in this thing? Uh, I don't believe I've ever heard of anyone in the cast, or uh, possibly even the crew, but this is a 2020 release, looks like the film came out in 2019, as for Spree. Uh, 2020 release, 2020 film. So, uh, both relatively recent releases. Not unheard of for Dollar Tree, but uh, always nice to find. And slip this thing out. And that corner is started, so we can go ahead and uh, get it. Well, let's get rid of this knife. Oh, wait, I, I lied. It does have old... Uh, Hobbit himself, Dominic Monaghan. So they're they're following a trend of featuring one known actor, and then just a bunch of unheard of. So uh, I'd look this. I looked all three films up on IMDb, but this one probably sounds the best. Even though the the first descriptor for the film is a drama, not a big drama fan, but the uh, whole end of the world, gotta find resources kind of shit. It sounds interesting. It could be pretty cool. <clears throat> But uh, there you have it. There's Radio Flash. And then the final film for my most recent Dollar Tree haul, Let's Scare Julie. Uh, I know nothing about the movie other than the title reminded me of Let's Scare Jessica to Death. And I figured, what the hell? It's $1.25. I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, upon reading the bat, well, reading, let's go ahead and just, we got a big ass sticker in the way. So let's get rid of that. It was already ripped up in the. Uh, Slight dancer looks like he got beat up in store, but everyone loves a good scare. When a group of teen girls sets out to frighten their reclusive new neighbor, what seems like a simple prank goes horribly wrong, and not all of them will make it home. Blah, 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 blah. It was apparently filmed all in one uninterrupted terrifying take, which right there, ugh, ugh, I, if I would have read that, if that would have been obscured by the sticker, I don't know if this would be in my hand at the moment. Uh, taking a look down here at the cast and credits... None of these names familiar in any way to me uh, from a very cursory glance. Uh, it is also another 2020 release for both the film and the DVD, though, so another uh, recent release. They're all pretty similar. 
the exact image on the disc as you get on the cover or even the slip cover. Uh, all Scream Factory, or pardon me, Shout Factory. Well, they're not even all. That one's RLJ. There are uh, many different companies releasing RLJ and Shout. And uh, yeah, they were all $1.25 each. Go ahead and smash that like button and drop a comment down below and let me know if you found anything interesting at your local Dollar Tree recently.